promising you that I was going to show off my entire Jeffree Star collection and that's what we're gonna do today. Listen, <laughs> trying to get everything gathered up and like in my area, first of all I had to clear my area off so I had room for all of this crap and I found things that I didn't even remember I had. I'm, I have a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> um, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe, turn your notifications on, ring the bell, all that jazz. You'll know exactly when I have videos up. I try to have them up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, although I am thinking that I might take a light week next week and just do like Monday and Friday, if that's okay with you guys. I'm tired. Um, so let's get into it because we got a lot to get into. It's a lot. I will say also that um, I did polls on Instagram and Twitter to see if you guys wanted me to cover, you know, like do like a launch video like I did for, you know, um, did I do one for conspiracy? I think I did one for conspiracy. And then I did one for bloodlust and all that. Um, most of you said no. <laughs> but some of you did say yes. So um, I, I do want to just quickly uh, say the uh, palette is 24 pan for $58. And then there's four new lip glosses, a black, a dark gray, a light gray, and a white, all for 18. And he'll probably have a bundle for them too. I didn't see a price for it, but he usually does a bundle on those. And then uh, there was two new makeup bags that are like really pretty. There's like a black marble and then a white marble, which was so pretty, but I don't need any more makeup bags. You're, you're fixing to see why. And um, those are usually $25. So I'm assuming that's what they are. I don't remember. I honestly <laughs> got like halfway through the video and I was like, okay, I'm not buying any of this. And I just tuned out. But <laughs> my bad. And then uh, there's the uh, cremated straws for $19.99 that, and honestly, okay, like, I just, I have to say this, I have to put this out in the universe, okay, like, it bugs me <laughs> that everything else on his website is, like, a nice round whole number, and then the straws are $19.99. Like, why not just price them for $20? Why not? Like, why? It bugs me. <laughs> Everything else is like a flat, like 58, 20, you know, 25, you know, like it, 19.99, Jeffrey, stop it. Okay. So there's, there's your thing. Um, it launches Friday and I believe it's 10 AM Pacific standard time. So like if you're a central time zone, that would be noon for us. Um, uh, mountain, it'd be, was that 11? One o'clock for East Coast. Okay. And I, from what I understand, it's only on his site. Like he's only launching it from his warehouses so that he has all the control over the product and all of that. Sort of a, you know, a safety measure from the coronavirus outbreak thing. So that kind of sucks for anyone like me who usually gets it all on Beautylish. But, you know, I understand why. Like I get it. He's trying to be safe which is responsible and like it's it's hard to do a launch during all of this so I get it I get it and like you know everyone was so mad about the whole like the the name cremated and everyone's happy to cremate their dead for coronavirus and all that like he had all that planned years in advance bug is playing with the toy don't mind him if you hear some squeaking going on he found a ball I had to like completely turn my desk around in order to get the backdrop up and like have space for everything and I found one of his bouncy balls that like squeaks <laughs> He loves those, but like, I thought they were all lost, but we found one and he's been playing with it a lot. <laughs> so there is your launch coverage. Um, good luck. Cause if it's only on his site, 100% the site's going to crash. It's going to crash. I'm sorry. Um, usually he does put like a little extra few things up though. So I'm kind of tempted to like log in and see like what's going on. Like, is there anything that I might actually want to snag? But honestly, this is one palette I'm sitting out. Like, I'm never going to use it. There's a few shades that had me gagged, but I can't justify paying $58 for two shades. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Tell me I'm not going to do it. Because <laughs> you're fixing to see. I'm a collector. It is really hard for me to not buy this palette, but I know I'm not going to use it. So I can't justify buying the palette.
but I'm a collector. Okay, let's launch into this collection, okay? Let, best of luck to anyone who goes into the launch Friday. Like, it's going to be a madhouse. It's going to be a madhouse. I'm just, I'm waiting for it. We may have to have like a damage control video from the launch Monday. We'll see. Um, I'm going to start off with my highlights. Because I want to. And they're handy. So um, I have Brain Freeze. And then I recently bought this. I was supposed to have gotten this in my holiday mystery box, I think. But I got an extra one of these. So uh, there's a spoiler alert for something that will be in a future giveaway. Extra Brain Freeze palette. And then I have the uh, Northern Lights Supreme Frost palette. This is the only Supreme Frost palette that he has, too. Which is why I really think we're overdue for a new one. Because these are both Skin Frost. And then he has one more Skin Frost. We need this. I would absolutely pay like $100 for an Extreme Frost palette, too. I'm just... Or more than. like I'm just saying, like... There's a market. I, of course, have the, uh, which one is this? Choking on Ice and Sour Ice Extreme Frost because I'm obsessed with highlight. We, we should know this by now. If you're new to the channel, hi. I'm obsessed with highlight. Okay. By the way, this is the uh, 24 karat. I mixed uh, Sarcophagus and the pink one. I don't remember. I just got it. It's still new to me. I'm sorry. I don't have all the shade names. He is really going at it with that ball. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then for the Supreme Frost, the loose ones that I have, I have Money Honey and then I have Candy Apple Drip. And like so many people didn't want to buy this because they thought it was like not a good, like it'd be good for like an eyeshadow, but they didn't want to pay that much for a single thing of eyeshadow. I think if you remember the uh, picture that I posted up recently, you can use this as a highlighter. You can. Like, it's it's a different kind of look. It is. But if you a bold beauty, you can do it. And if you're medium or darker toned, it, it's less, like, crazy looking. <laughs> but I'm a pasty peggy and I can pull it off. Just saying. I also have Skin Frost and Siberian Gold. And... Oops. And then I also have the Mystery Frost from the Halloween, if you guys remember. And I've actually hit pan on this, so I really liked it. A lot, a lot, a lot. You see, right there, I hit pan. But I love this. I wear it a lot. It's kind of like a darker tone of the Siberian Frost, basically, like it's really nice. Liquid Frost, I totally blanked on these. Um, which I haven't used these on camera at all, I don't think. I have Expensive, which is a gorgeous, like, gold with, like, a blue flex in it. It's so pretty. Um, then we have, what is this? Frostitute, which I love the name of. That's, it's so funny. This is Ice Cream Bling. Frostbite. Ice Queen. And goddess. I got the uh, Morphe setting spray, which again, I would not buy again because literally it's just the Morphe setting spray, but it's strawberry scented and it costs more. And like, it really wasn't that amazing of a scent. So ugh, not impressed, not impressed, just saying. And then I have the setting powder, which is amazing. It's amazing. I don't know that I'm going to rebuy it because I have several other setting powders that I need to get through. And honestly, like, while the scent is amazing, like, it's a very finely milled powder. There's a lot of those on the market. It's not a necessity. But it is almost out. <laughs> like, that's literally all I've got left in it. And then I have the concealer in C5 because that was the shade that I needed. <laughs> Thank you, burglars. Then mirrors, I have the one that came in the Halloween box, and then I bought this one at the launch, and then I also have the green pig mirror coming, but I haven't gotten a shipping notification on it yet, so there's that. 
And then I also got one of the uh, five-year purple hoodies in my uh, holiday box. I have one of his regular size rose gold makeup bags, which is currently empty. And then I have the Big Daddy black one, the double zip, which is obviously very full of many, many things. That's why I don't need another makeup bag, because like I just need that one. It's huge and I can fit all kinds of stuff in it. Very, very much recommend the huge double zip bag makeup bags. If you're like me and you like to travel with a lot of makeup, so you have a lot of selection, or you're going to be gone for a long time, those things are amazing. Like seriously. And durable. Just saying. And then, if you guys remember, I have every single palette <laughs> from my palette tour video. So I've got both of the minis. I have all of the makeup palettes. I've, I've got Conspiracy, I've got Bloodlust, I've got Alien, I've got Jawbreaker, Blue Blood, uh, Thirsty, I've got the Morphe one, <laughs> I, I have Androgyny, which I, I would not have bought, but I had it in one of my mystery boxes, uh, Blood Sugar, Beauty Killer was my first, and I said bloodlust I think but there she is again if you just missed her so much I haven't used her on here as much as I thought I would but like I I review a lot of palettes so <laughs> I really haven't done looks with a lot of Jeffrey's palettes um I've got the pink straws I've got the purple straws I had the green straws but I have them in a giveaway I haven't mailed that out yet I'm so sorry like I've just I've been working so it might be Saturday before I get that out. I'm so sorry, but I will get it out this week, I promise. And then, are you guys ready for this? Because this is like the bulk of my Jeffrey collection. It's bad. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, okay, I have the Shane Lip Balm. This is Jeffrey's Girl Lip Ammunition. And then I have Snow Cone Lip Ammunition, Brown Sugar, and Glazed. And then on glosses, <laughs> I have, uh, what's this? Succulent. I have Safe Word. I have Shockwave, uh, Sequin Glass, and then from the latest launch I bought Sickening, because it's sickening. I didn't even remember that I had this many, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm not even a big gloss girl, I'm really not, but like, his glosses are so good. And then I got into opulescent beauty and I bought their entire collection and like I just he started this he started this it's not my fault <laughs> and then the liquid lips guys this is where I get myself in trouble I do I really do um let's see we've got androgyny which I have a backup of this ordered because um I'm running low <laughs> And then we have Bronze Blood, which I love this shade. Then we have Berries on Ice, which I almost need a backup of. We have Dull Parts, which I need a backup of. I'm getting low on that one. And Triggered, which I'm surprised I don't need a backup of because I've been hitting this really hard lately. And then <laughs> we have Candy Ass. This is problematic, which I've hit pretty hard. And I always get hit on by creepy old men when I wear this. It never fails. Every single time I wear this to work, I get hit on by a creepy old man. So I stopped wearing it to work, which is why it's lasted me so long. I don't know why. I don't. What is it about this shade 
that brings out creepy old men. Someone explain to me. I'm just saying. Why? Then we have First Class, which is a beautiful, like, bright gold. I love that one. And then we have 808, which is like a really pretty, like, bright coral pink. And we have Hi, How Are You, which I have a backup of, too. <laughs> Pussy Whip, which I have a backup of. <laughs> I hit these really hard. Uh, restraints, which I don't wear a whole lot, but like I do enjoy doing like some darker looks with it. I've worn it a couple of times here lately. And then chain, which I also don't wear a whole lot, but I really enjoy. Love that one. And it smells like root beer or diet root beer. I'm just saying. I like that. And then we have you better work which I love this. It's such a fun, like, bright purple. And then we have Mermaid Blood, which I haven't rocked as hard as I could. I should, I should bring that back. And then we have the uh, Soul Sucker, which was in the Halloween. Then Coral Fixation, which I have not broke out, and I need to. I need to do, like, a neon look and, like, rock this. That would be awesome. That, that might be, like... Uh, poinsettia or poinsettia, however you want to say it. I think it's regional. Um, thirst trap. No tea, no shade, which I think I have a backup of, or I might, that might be the backup. I can't remember if I'm on that one or not. Okay, no tea, no shade. So that's the backup. Because one of them was like almost out. <laughs> Unicorn Blood, which also smells like root beer. Fun fact. Then, Yes Ma'am, which is so fun. Like, it's such a loud pink. Like, oh my god, I love wearing that one. Like, you gotta be bold to wear that one. You, you just, you gotta. Um, this is the uh, Valentine Mystery Box Shade, which is really, really close to doll parts, like, honestly. If you see them together, like, it's just, like, a slightly lighter shade than the doll parts. But it's kind of in the same family. And then pumpkin pie. Oh, and did you think we were done? No, because we've got more. We've got more. <laughs> Santa baby. Clout. And Cherry Wet. And then the Holiday Mystery Shade, which I wear so much, especially with like green looks. Like, I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's really close to Poinsettia. I'll show you side by side. Like, it's just like slightly different like a deeper red tone than poinsettia but like they're both gorgeous like oh my gosh and I think that's it finally that's that is my entire Jeffrey collection oh oh wait and uh I have the uh Halloween t-shirt that came with the mystery boxes but that's at Aunt Judy's I think because I can't find it but yeah that is it which is why it's so hard for me to not buy something from this collection coming up because I'm like I have a collection going I have to complete it but I don't want it <laughs> but it's a fight it's a fight in my head constantly constantly um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this that's my entire Jeffree Star collection this is why I can't afford nice things because I spend it all on Jeffree Star cosmetics <laughs> literally <laughs> and that is all i'm gonna try to have a hot mess video for you guys friday if not then it'll be another palette review but i have two that i am really really excited about so like one is like a palette and lips and one is just a palette but it's like a big name palette that i haven't tried yet and i'm like really excited to try that brand so like we'll see we'll see 
but I'm gonna try and do a hot mess video. I just like it. It depends on if I am tired or not, if I'm inspired or not, because I have like four different like hot mess video ideas, four of them. <laughs> but it takes some planning, and I don't know which ones I want to do. You feel me? <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys Friday. I hope you have a great week and uh, happy hump day. Woo! <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.